Triple digit heat is in the forecast just in time for the holiday weekend and rescue crews are getting ready for a busy weekend out on the river. ABC 10's Bridget Riorlo joins us live from Fair Oaks on how to stay safe while enjoying the holiday. Monica, not only are we expecting extreme heat this holiday weekend, but our rivers are faster and colder than they've been in years. And first responders are concerned there might be more rescues out on the water, but they say if that happens, they're ready to save lives. It's not 4th of July just yet, but the celebrations are already getting started. We have a huge family reunion going on, and so we're going to float the river with all the cousins and aunts and uncles. The American River is a popular place for families in Sacramento to have fun and cool off. But with the first wave of triple digit heat in the forecast for the holiday weekend, water rescue crews are standing guard. Especially with the heat rising, um, the, the the calls will increase. It's already been a busy season for Metro Fire Engineer Phil Graffis, whose team has responded to dozens of distress calls along the river this year alone. With record snow melting from the Sierra, he says the water is faster and colder than it's been before. It takes maybe a minute before your body starts to really, you know, kind of shut down and uh, change to survival mode. And is warning even the most experienced swimmers to take caution. Because even like we saw earlier, there's parts where if you don't are familiar with the river, it can kind of suck you underneath and you don't necessarily see it coming. So even if you are a strong and confident swimmer, it can sneak up on you. Because the conditions are so dangerous right now, officials are urging you to stay off the water until conditions improve. But if you do come by, make sure to wear your life vest. So far this holiday weekend, those rafting and kayaking along the river are not taking any chances. You want to have a life jacket no matter how good of a swimmer you are or what you're doing anytime you're in, a, especially in a river like this with how high the levels are. I've been boating a lot of years and I always wear a life jacket. I don't really drink when I go on the river, so I try to be careful. Still, first responders are increasing their holiday staffing to prepare for the crowds ready to respond when someone encounters troubled waters. Ultimately, we want people to have a good, fun, safe summer, and uh, we're, we're here to help facilitate that, but the more that they can take those steps to stay safe, the, less, the more they can have fun, the less we have to come to help them, even though we're, we're ready whenever. And as you can see behind me here, there are already plenty of rafters taking advantage of our local waterways and doing so safely. But if you do see someone out on the water in distress, you're urged to call 911. And here are the key tips. Make sure you report when you saw them, specifically what time, what they were wearing, and where you last saw them in the river. This way, you can let the helicopter above know how to spot them and for them to pass along that information to a rescue boat so that they know where to launch because every second counts when responding to a potential drowning, Monica. And Bridget, I'm so happy to see right behind you as a family all wearing their safety life jackets, following those rules, enjoying the holiday the right way. Bridget, thank you.